Okay, today we'll be opening up this used k and Select Oil Filter, number SO-1002. And a viewer whose name is Dwayne Desisto from New Hampshire sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Dwayne. This filter was in service for 3,900 miles and came off of Dwayne's 2020 Ford Escape SEL. Yep, the one with the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Total miles on his vehicle is 37,576. We'll also take a look at an oil analysis that he had done. So let's get started. This is set that word. You got a good silicone, a nice pipe. Get your in here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. The date code 042721AF. Product of USA. Also right here it says, made in USA. This is a sticker. This filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone anti-drain back valve. Metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And that's a nice amount of threads. There's about five grooves there. And a nitro rubber gasket, which is pretty thick. Take that off. Yeah, let's... Let's cut this filter open and see what it looks like inside. Okay, we got a little oil here. Turn this over, let it drain a little bit. Okay, silicone and drain back valve. Looks nice. I don't see no cuts in it or anything. It's got a nice spring to it. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video here for a second because I didn't notice this soot until I started editing the video. All this is is soot and uh, carbon. Okay, back to the video. It's kind of loose here, but it covers the holes. Okay, the filter element. It's a combo, combo valve here, stamp leaf spring. And I'll put the amount of pleats up here. The glued seam right here. A little bit of a gap. The metal end caps. A little bit of glue here. And this is a synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% particles greater than 30 microns. It did all, it all looks good. I don't see no tears. Nothing unusual. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, how about the can? Yeah, the oil looks nice. No sludging. Yeah, it looks good. Let's get some measurements. 0 0.41 millimeters thick. Yeah, ain't bad. And get the width. Filter element. 1.61 inches wide. Yeah, that oil, that oil looks nice. And Dwayne's using a Penzo Ultra Platinum 5W20. Looks good. So let's cut this filter open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, see how long it is. We'll also take a look at oil report for this, uh, this oil change. So be right back. Okay, so here's Dwayne's report. Um, I'm not going to read all this. You guys could freeze this and uh, read it if you want. But basically, the, they're just telling him he's, his report's you know really good and and everything looks pretty good. Okay, so let's look at these numbers down here. So we got aluminum at three. The universal is six. Yeah, aluminum could be anything like piston skirts or bearings. And then we got the chromium, zero, so that's good. 
iron, 6, universal average is 12, and iron is all throughout the engine, so it could be, come from a lot of different places. So we got copper as 1, universal is 1, so that's right on. And copper can come from bearings and bushings. Lead, we got 0 for lead. Universal average is 0. We got tin 0. Universal 0. We got molly denim at 81. The universal is 82. And that's an anti wear additive. We got nickel 0. Magnesium 0. Silver 0. Titanium 2. And the universal average is 4. Potassium we got is 1. Universal average is 3. Boron at 127, universal is 51, and the boron is a detergent additive. Silicon is 15, universal is 18. The silicon can be dirt, but it also can come from silicone sealants. We got sodium 4, universal 16. The sodium can be a corrosion inhibitor. It also could be antifreeze. Calcium is 1004, the universal is 1290. And calcium is a detergent additive. Magnesium 723. Universal average is 568. And the magnesium helps keep the, the dirt suspended in the oil. Phosphorus is 621. Universal average is 681. Phosphorus is an anti-wear additive. Zinc is 677. Universal is 768. And zinc is also an anti-wear additive. Barium 0. Universal 2. Okay, let's look down here. And let's take a look at the viscosity levels here. So we got 210 Fahrenheit, 51.4. So that's in spec. 100 Celsius, 7.70. And that's also in spec. The flash point, 405. It's anything greater than 385 is good. Because if, if you had a low flash point, then that would mean you'd have some uh, fuel in your in your oil and the fuel they got it minus that's so that's good minus 0. 0.5 antifreeze nothing water nothing and solubles 0. 0.1 that's good and the tbn is real high 4.7 so that's pretty high anything under one is is you know you don't want to use it but me personally i probably would go as low as two and that's it but overall this is a really good report so next let's take a look at the filter media and see what that looks like Okay, here's the filter all stretched out, and it's 45 inches long. Okay, let's measure the thickness. 0.65 millimeters thick. And this is the filtering side. I get my camera to focus here. This is the filtering side. It's the back side. Let's look at this under a microscope. Okay, so as you can see, did some filtering there's some little particles you can see dirt particles let's take a look at this filter up close it's got some soot on it you can see some right here but I don't see any sparklies on this one just a little bit of soot it looks cleaner it's a little cleaner on this end Okay, let's look at the rest of the filter. And here's the, the inside seam. And it's got a nice base plate, nice big holes. This is just the sticker that's on the side of the can. But um, it's got a lot of threads, nice big holes. I like the base plate. Got metal core, louvers. All looks good. Silicone ink drain back valve. Nice thick uh, gasket. In the can, in the can, sometimes I, I can't see it. Um, like I mentioned earlier, see these little guys. I think these are just 
carbon particles, soot particles, because they're not hard or anything, you know. It's hard to see it when I'm looking through the lens of the camera, but when I'm editing it, I can see, when I'm editing the video, I can see them. And uh, the bypass valve, which is a pretty good size one. And actually, you know, it held up its shape. So it all looks good. So what do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank Dwayne for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.